Hey guys, welcome to another episode of SevTech. Just a guy here, and we're back. Um, I didn't do a ton. I grinded out a bunch of blank slates and stuff to get ready for the altar. I read the book a little bit. I can't remember if I did this on screen or not or a previous episode, but I started chopping down these apple trees to get apples, and I do this dance to make them grow. And um, I made this the tree scythe. It like automatically removes uh, leaves. If you just left click, it's just like a normal break, right? If you right click, it's basically vein miner for leaves. Whoa, that's a lot. And that's pretty awesome. I mean, it's not super useful because um, you could still just cut the wood down and you kind of have to if you want to plant another tree. But I just thought this was awesome. I don't know if it increases the rate of drops in terms of saplings, but uh, I just thought it was awesome. The sprouts ended up being pretty useless. If you use this thing though, this scythe, you do knock them all off when they're fully grown. But it's not generally worth it because you only double your apples and you have to craft them and place them and wait several Minecraft days to grow. But this, as you can see, gives me tons upon tons of apples. And it's also easier just to chop the tree down. Unfortunately, I don't have vein miner on trees yet, so I'd have to do it by hand, but I get it's a good way to get wood and food, tons upon tons of apples. The only downside is um, apples have no recipes to really do with yet. I can't make applesauce, I can't make apple juice. The only recipes that show up are like putting apples in a crusher. Oh, the apple sprout thing, right? Which, you know, doubles your apples if you're desperate. But other than that, um let's crafting that's it yeah i could put it in that to make that apple thing that takes away the step assist apple and a fermentator to make ethanol but i don't have a fermentator yet that takes stuff i can't even click on the recipe of and then a crushing tub would make apple seeds and apple juice but i can't make the crushing tub yet I need iron so that's you know they're just a decent fruit um, I think it's the best I've found in the game so far gives you 2% fruit nutrition it's not going to get you very high on nutrition though the only reason mine's up to 52 is because I was using the grinder again and that just kills your hunger and then this refills it so it goes up fast that's the only good thing I think you lose nutrition every time you die I died two or three times trying to I was like putting torches down out and I got swamped by uh, zombies. But other than that, I was mostly working in here. I made uh, yeah, turn that off. Okay, um, where is it? I made a bunch of these blank slates because you need to put a bunch of them around your altar to upgrade it, right? But you got to turn them into something um, blank runes, right? Which takes well, I can make a blank rune, or I can make a speed rune, and that's about it right now. But um, to make a blank rune, I need these blood orbs, right? And I was like, how do I make them? Because, well, it takes a pearl, or a diamond, or a redstone to make the apprentice. That's what the book said anyway. Take a diamond and put it in there for 2,000 LP. But where was I getting that stuff from? Oh, yeah, this thing. But there's also the option, the weak blood orb, which is just coagulated blood put into there. But where do you get coagulated blood? Well, a congealed blood slime block. Where do you get that? You make it out of coagulated blood. That was a bit of an issue. Um, I didn't figure that out until I looked at blood. And that can come from rotten flesh in a smelter. Which is good because previously the only way I knew to do it was if you made a normal tinker smelter and you stood inside there or you got an enemy inside there, anybody had taken damage from the smelter would make blood. Um, but I couldn't make one because I don't have a drawer, um, tinker's controller or lava tank or anything like that or lava to be honest. So this is what I have, right? But I can put rotten flesh in here. Oh, drain it out. 
I did learn this valuable lesson though um, with channels. You want to make sure you have a lot of excess uh, casting basins or you want to make sure maybe make it into a circular loop so that it feeds back into itself because otherwise you get stuff like this where it pours down. It doesn't stop pouring until the tank is empty and it goes out and if it hits what it's full or something and then it goes on and then it gets stuck. You have to shift click it to turn it back the other way to make it pour the other way or shut one off or something you know work on it and that's the problem and then these little melters they can only have one type of item in there at a time which is sort of the problem here all the rotten flesh for some reason got put into this hopper so it's causing issues but i put in like 40 of them i just happen to have lying around in my chest and i got two of these so far and since I have these, I can make stuff. It's not only giving me this blood orbs, but it does give me access to slime. Which, if I remember right, was important for something. Slime water, soft slime plate. Not that, so I don't have gold. Dry slime ball made something, I think. Make slime blocks, make slime shoes, any slime ball. Okay, so I don't know if congealed blood counts as a slime, but uh, it does give me access to slime blocks, which let you jump and stuff. Some really uh, weird stuff. Wild dog pelt boots. That sounds awesome. They probably run fast or something, right? I don't know. But I don't have nearly enough wild dog pelts or anything like that. A leather belt. Any slime ball and a bunch of leather. So I might have access to stuff like that. But the main thing I'm going for is put down break it. Nope. Maybe put in the crafting table. There we go. Huh. Refilled that for some reason. I'm curious. Can I do this? I don't have two. Okay. Yeah. If I put one of these. Oh, I don't have any blood in there right now. That's going to suck. I better take that out. Because you don't want to. The item in there to be draining power as you try to fill it because that makes it lose power every time there's nothing in there you want to start off full if you can i was funny i was just draining this completely making all those stones so that i would be able to pick it up and move it without losing anything and now i need the power because i didn't know that you needed the i didn't think i'd be able to get the blood to be honest like, like everywhere, everywhere I knew of from watching some people was just standing in the smelter or getting losses in the smelter. smelter. So, so I can't I see how much is in there. You're supposed to be able to say, see how much LP is in there. I can't tell. I can just say that there's blood in there and I think it always stops a little bit below that line. It's supposed to be maximum capacity of 2000, which is about 10 hearts. So that's basically one full life bar. And a little bit extra because you can't do all your body. So I'm gonna get my health fully up again in case I need to keep charging it as it gets low. Fortunately, fruit is not the best saturation, but I'm getting up there now. All my other stuff is down to next to nothing though. I think you lose like a bunch after you die, or it resets it to 20 something. No, better work on these. Just trying to drain these out. All that, All that copper, copper I mined. And, and I made, I made some, some plates, plates of so tin and copper and bronze and stuff, and stuff just in case I needed it. it. Actually, I didn't make any copper because I didn't have any at the time. I just had uh, bronze and tin. I meant to make copper, but I didn't do it. Okay, so this is full. And it's working. Eat some more apples. Yummy tasty apples. Go 
fill it up a little bit. I don't know what it's at. It's not really giving me any indicator. I mean, like, it's not even look like it's moving, to be honest. I know there's, like, maybe two or three levels to the indicator visually. It's, like, full, half full, and then empty, I think. I can't remember if I fixed zeros on that one. Yeah, like that's still up. Hard to tell, the whole screen shakes. So it looks like it moves up a little bit, but I don't know. Okay, it's done. So I got a weak blood orb. Put another one in there. So I need more than one of these. I think I need one for every single room. So, Thor's Law Raw F Life Essence. Not sure if I can tell how much is in there. Uses, yeah, just those things. Oh wow, I can make incense altar. Oh, that's that thing that busts you or boosts your altar for a little moment of time or something like that. Rune of sacrifice. So that's the one that gives you more. Self-sacrifice, okay, that's one for killing things, and that's the one for hurting yourself. Considering I can't make the sword for um, hurting other things yet, I think I'm going to have to go with self-sacrifice. I want to get the sacrificing thing down, although I don't have a mob farm or anything easy to make, and an animal farm is so hard to breed, I mean, even with the songs. Um, so, reinforced like. Okay, okay, so I so can't, can't make, make the self-sacrifice self one until level two. Oh, I didn't know it was already. So it takes, it takes a little bit more than what I had in there. Fortunately, Fortunately it probably drained quite a bit while I was in that menu. I don't know if it was because it wasn't all the way full or because it takes a little more than the maximum capacity and I just kept the other one up. Okay, so we got another one of these. I'm debating between just making four or not. I think I will move on to whatever's next. So can these go in there? Be charged? I guess these aren't the ones that hold capacity. I mean, they say so. But. Ah, yes, you can. You can put blood in there. Do they need to be full for the recipe? Come on. Does not say. I don't see the little bar down there. So two blank runes and a bunch of stone. Okay, we can do that. So get my runes and my stone. I hope I had room for my stone. I'll get rid of the sprout. Okay, so runes. Let's try this. Speed runes take sugar and a blank rune, which I have to make first. Okay. So all this stuff, I can do it. Make one. It's sad that these aren't like part of the quest line, but like why start? Oh wow, it doesn't consume the weak blood orb. Okay, that's nice to know. I thought it did. Okay, well, I got an extra blood orb for whatever reason. If I need extra, extra blood, I guess. I don't know. Um, I can't see the capacity of this thing at all. Unless it's going straight to my altar, maybe. From the book I was reading, it said it stores like 50% or something like that, like 2,000. If this stores 2,000, it stores like 2,000 or 1,000 or something like that. Some number that's comparable to the level of altar you have. But let's. So we got two blank rooms. I'm going to make a bunch. I need eight total. Oh. Weak blood orb. 
Why does it say I don't have one? Um. Oh, it doesn't have power. And it's draining it now. Okay. So it doesn't consume the blood orb, but it takes the power from the blood orb. And it has to be one with power. Okay, so having two of these is somewhat useful. It's going to take a lot of life to do such a thing, but... It'll at least uh, allow me to power these up. Oh, well, what the other one's still going. Wow, it's a lot more slow. Pick your pick. Maybe holding it and doing it's easier. I wonder what I'll happen if I do it now with this. Ooh, I killed myself. My bad. I. Don't think it, um, I know the transformation seemed to end when I was doing that before. Oh yeah, the whole blood pool is gone. I don't know if that means that's done or not. Luckily it doesn't lose progress on this on like crafting items. What's a heart and a half there, it looks like. So maybe you double pay when you do it like this. Okay. So, um, well, let's eat these berries or something. Another crappy nutrition, but it'll get rid of them. There we go. Pick this up. Put that there? Oh, it's, oh, it's full, full too. too. Huh. huh. I also heard, remember reading about how they fill themselves automatically when you're near it, so maybe that's why. So, blank rune. What? Missing items. I don't have that. Let's just do it manually if something's wrong here. Stone, oh, no. stone, there we go, and plank slate. I don't know why I kept saying missing item. So no, I don't need to charge it, it's just being weird. Okay, so I got a bunch of these now. I don't know what's going on with these things. Eat the meat. Early. Whoops, I did not mean to charge that one. Yeah. There we go, put that in there. Take that one out. Okay, ooh, get rid of some of this junk. Get rid of the sticks, I guess. Blood stuff for now. And, um, my blank runes can stay. Oh, I got seven, I need one more. Okay, I gotta make one more blank slate. I thought I made a ton. I made 16, but I didn't realize each one took two. Or 15, maybe. Oh, that's done. Oh, I hate this part where you gotta have an empty hand to be able to pick stuff off. You can't even just pick it up with the item that you need. So I'll get the stone, blank slate. Oh, I need the planks. I need the stone for the crafting, my bad. Okay, we'll get there. Get rid of those stupid torches. I was going to take them down and replace them with better torches as I went. What's this? Oh, a stick. A one stick, huh? So, stone. Stone. There we go. Blank slate, blank slate, 
my blood orb and it works okay so I should lose a lot of blood but whatever hmm like long term it's got to be somewhere better where I can get access to enemies to kill or sheep to kill or something like I said monsters would be easier to have a farm to feed into but um sheep and all that have generally better drops let's let's just build it next to our tinker's thing Get this all fancy. I'm gonna have to get the book again. I think it's basically every block around the altar, but I can't remember if it's one down or even width or both. I'll just try it and see what happens. So, if the altar went. Oh, I need a one, two, three, three by three. So yeah. So the altar goes here. Blank runes would go on the ground all around it. Obviously, having blank runes isn't as good as having real runes. But the only rune I have access to is the speed one right now. I don't really care if it goes faster. In fact, going faster is bad because I can't feed blood into it as easily if I need to power up a thing. Okay, this is not good. I can't even tell if it's level 2 or not. I can't tell anything. I can't get an interface or whatever to tell me how much is in there. Okay, let's try this. Well, the blood orb's not taking anything, so it's not improved. I don't think it's a level 2, because I'm supposed to put a blood orb in a level 2 to upgrade it. To a better blood orb? What am I looking at? Hmm. It's not giving me the uses. Okay, we'll type it in then. Seek blood orb. So I could have done that with a diamond, but I don't have access to a diamond. Tier 1. That takes... Tier two. Let's make an apprentice. I need a pearl or a red sun, it looks like. Um, I guess I gotta do stage one. Okay, that is stage one. A blank rune, stone, yellow dye. That blood orb. Okay, so I can do this. Oh no, I need the reinforced state. I need the blank slate and a tier two. Hmm. So that's that's eight. Let's make one of these and put it back in there and see if it'll upgrade. I want to better eat. No. Not healing fast enough. This is what I was talking about. Where if it's already in there when you're trying to fill it up, this causes problems. Now I can't put energy in from the blood orb unless there's none in there. Wow, these are all full. Not having a better way to heal myself other than food sucks. Like. I would, I would say, say if the mod, mod pack allows it, and you're trying to do blood magic, magic definitely, definitely have some sort of spell of healing or 
regen potions or something. I don't even have access to potions yet, really. Obviously, I could be eating better food, but that would just make the saturation not run out as fast, not necessarily do anything else. Okay. Should make that. They don't take too much. Whoops. I almost killed myself. Okay, so this is a level 2. It doesn't say anything different, but it is upgrading that. Unfortunately, I don't know if there's enough blood in there. Nope. And I'm still struggling to... Uh... No, I gotta take that out. I'll never get it done without it starting off with a higher amount. Up to 85 fruit, though. Until I get some sort of fruit salad or whatever that does fruit and other things at the same time, I'm not going to get anywhere. Right now I do have the steak dinner, which um, I don't have a good source of potatoes and carrots yet, but other than that, it does provide vegetables and meat at a decent rate of 4.0 or something like that, but I have nothing really for fruit and grains, to be honest. And it seems like your nutrition goes down over time or deaths, while it only goes up every time you eat. So the more active you are and the more you need to eat, it seems the better. So I'm starting to get a health bonus for nutrition, though. It's up to a, like a half heart extra. So let's put this back in there. Well, I'm trying not to debate. Yeah, I want to heal my at least that full life. <laughs> I'm gonna get some meat. Because it seems like you obviously only heal as long as the saturation lasts. So the low saturation foods are actually bad. Because you spend more time waiting for the saturation to end to. Where's this buffalo? I'm all out of buffalo, huh? Well, I'm not out, but I don't have any over here cooked. Well, we'll eat cooked mystery meat, just to get rid of it. It's not like it's better than apples by much. Oops. Okay, so, put this in there. Tap some blood back in. Oh yeah, I got 12 and a half stars. That's awesome, because those gold hearts seem to regenerate really fast. Seems to have stopped. Reinforced slates. So I'm going to need a bunch of slates into reinforced slates. That's going to suck. Well, and the funny thing is, is, this is not even part of the progression. They just make that in a stupid apple and call it good. They want you to provide, push through the abyss craft, which I thought looked really difficult. Because I have to uh, storm that shogolith tunnel thing. Oops, hurt myself really bad. I definitely... If you're gonna go into Bloodcraft in this mod pack with no extra healing available, suggest working on your nutrition through the grindstone is probably the easiest because you just hold right click and if you have food in your offhand it'll do it automatically. This one you have to be a little more careful because if you kill yourself you lose a bunch of nutrition. Like if you're above the starting 30% or whatever it seems to drop quite a bit. So it does go straight to reinforced. That's kind of bad. I mean, it, it does hit the blank slate, but it keeps going and passes it. So if you want just blank slates, 
you might have to downgrade your altar to make it easier on yourself, otherwise it'll go over. Oops, don't want to do that. That's a blank slate, okay. 100% fruit, okay. I'm just using fruit one because it was slow, but also because I have more fruit than I can ever imagine. I'm not sure where all my fish went. I had tons of fish. Here's some. There's the buffalo meat that isn't cooked. That's really good at getting your meat levels up because it's um like four nutrition protein. I can eat coagulated blood and uh, poison myself, I think. I think I got fish. Oh, there he is. Oh, I probably should take that out. Yeah. Never gonna get anywhere with get something already in there. Definitely better health regen from the fish. Great a thunderstorm. Wow, well, I thought I was all prepared. I didn't want to do too much of this off camera because I thought, you know, I'd be able to get the blood thing. But I got this to level two. I'm not exactly sure what I can do with level two. But I will have these self-sacrifice ones soon, which increase how much you get from stabbing yourself, which is still way less effective than killing enemies if you can. Any sort of mom farm would help, but I don't have water buckets or anything to help push them around. The beauty of it is you don't even have to kill them. In fact, the, if you don't, the better. I mean, you can weaken them if you want to, but... Okay. But yeah, the, you know, just pushing enemies into front of you like a water spout would be great. Okay, so it's now working on the other stage. My protein's getting up, but my fruit's getting down. See, that's what sucks if, like, you try to switch between two. Alone four. Again, I just barely finished that. It started to drain a couple times. Okay, so we got four of these. Which, which lets, lets us turn one of these into something better. Or two of these, maybe. I think it's two. Turn two of these into the better self-sacrifice, right? Uh, let's see. Runes. Blank runes, speed runes, sacrifice, self-sacrifice. Okay. Oh, we need the yellow. I'm readily sure I have a bunch of dyes, but I don't know if I have yellow. Might have good. I thought I might have like light yellow or off yellow or sun tan yellow or whatever they want to call. Because there's a lot of weird colors. I don't want to go there. Eat the fish. Oh, wow, you can put sticks down. For whatever reason you really feel like it, but that's a change there. Oops, self sacrifice. I was looking at sacrifice that took yellow. Hmm. It's much easier to make, but unfortunately, I don't have, and it's actually better in the long run. It's not something I can do, so I'll take that. The bronze, right? Yeah. I think it took bronze. 
Oh, I put sticks on top. Kind of silly. Self sacrifice. What? Sacrifice is bronze. Right? Yes. Self sacrifice is. I don't get how I got that reversed. Okay, let's let's just do this. Self-sacrifice. Yes. I don't have enough stone. That's... Okay. I know I have a bunch. Oh, there's all my upgrades. I know I made some. I just didn't know where they were. But here's my stone supplies. That's the best way to get stone ever. I don't even know if this will work because for whatever reason, yeah. So blank are in the middle, yellow, yellow, okay. Because uh, for whatever reason, it doesn't count my blood orb as being valid. It's slightly different than the other one, I guess. Stone, 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 stone right? And the blank rune, stone up here too. No, no, the reinforced slate that I was making. I thought it took two of these. I did not know that. So let's go stone, stone, stone. I can make a bunch of these. Oh, I only got two of those blank runes with me. Okay, well, that's fine. So, self sacrifice, self sacrifice. But I do need is one that increases the capacity. But we'll work for that now with these. That's all I have access to. And it'll take up all my yellow. That's perfect. Oh, not yet. I also have two extra. But when I do them all... Okay, and then... Reinforced slates. Hmm. Oh, blood orb goes in the bottom. That's right. Okay, and then we're good. Now this didn't change it at all because it ha it's all about the number of runes you have. I can't remember if the next one can just be out more or does it have to be down. But uh, yeah. So now I just gotta make more blank runes, right? Which was just these blank slates, which is unfortunately harder with these all upgraded. So I have to turn this down. And I could put stone in there to get a bunch of blank runes. And like I tried last episode, you can't put a hopper underneath it to pull it out. You can't put a hopper above it to feed it in, but then it just like stacks up 17 of them or something. And that means, um, it takes like an insane amount of blood to uh, get it going. So that's how I have to do for this. But I'm gonna do this off camera. I think I'm gonna end the episode here, guys. We did make some progress. We got our blood or or blood altar up to level two. Um, the level two altar. I can't remember where I put it. This is my little bookshelf, by the way. I got another one over there. It was right here originally, but I moved it to put in the smeltery. I think it's this one. So yeah, the blood altar. I'm trying to remember where I saw that. Upgrading your altar, yeah. So these recipes aren't entirely valid because they changed some things in this mod pack. But, um, Blood runes around the altar, you'll be able to expand your altar strength. Unlocking the higher tiers requires recipes allowing you to augment the abilities of the altar. To upgrade the altar to second tier, you need to place eight blood runes around the altar at one level lower. So basically on the ground if you decide it not even with it. If you're confused about the precise, use tell you the precise place in a blocks required the next tier. Although the blank rune is fine for simply getting your altar upgraded and running. 
Criteria is advantage to use upgrade runes to alter each time you runes of blood altar may be swapped for any upgrade. The only exception is that a tier two you cannot use the corner runes as upgrade runes. Tier three onward you can use these. These are runes that affect the speed of crafting, the capacity altar, as well as the efficiency and sacrificing altar. So yeah, these runes can be found to enter. Okay. So the speed rune just makes it faster, right? So yeah, it just makes it faster to fill blood orbs and faster to progress. Like I said, that can be a downside though, if um you have to feed the altar, because like there's sometimes you have to craft things that have more than the stored LP. So yeah, Princess Blood Orb, Dagger of Sacrifice, Rune of Sacrifice. What's this? So you can one-hit enemies if it's next to the blood altar. So again, if you can get this next to a mob farm, it'd be actually a really good way to kill things. Um, this item purpose give you more information about the more complex blocks in the mod when the box in the world. Your only position item is the blood altar and by simple right-clicking on Oh, okay. That's that's what that thing does it with the weird stuff. Okay, it makes a little hologram, okay. Um and then let's see what else we got. Got a bunch of sigils and stuff that you can make eventually. Rune of capacity is something that we want eventually. So let's get that other weird book that I put down originally because it didn't seem useful. Well, I made this because the cyclic guide stuff, I got that forestry thing. And I was just trying to figure out how to work the apple sprouts, but you know, I didn't have any luck. Um, but yeah, you just break them. You can't right click them or anything. Here we go, this. Get rid of the fish. Fish is maybe messing me up. The two next clear missing it. Okay, so that's not very helpful considering F3 does not display uh, the XY coordinates in this like for wood for other people. But this does tell me. Missing a block at something, something, something. I don't know. I thought it gave me a little... I don't get the hologram that it was talking about. Turn the shift click and everything. I can't put it in there either, so I don't know. I don't know if it's something they disable in this mod pack. But I can't see how much is in there. But it's supposed to be better with these things up there. Oops. Biggest, I, mean, I don't care how much is in there per se. I just would like to know if it's full or not, which is really hard to tell with just the visual. Because it always looks like a little bit underneath that line, I swear. I mean, like I said, it just always looks the same to me. If it's different, it's like if you blink, it looks different. Yeah, I've already done the 98 just because I haven't eaten like the last two meals. But yeah, okay, guys, I'm going to end it here. Like I said, I got to grind out some more of these blank slates. But so far, I haven't gotten um, blood magic. Let's see what my pack this is. At blood. I haven't really found anything to be worth making. I know there's some runes that are cool eventually, I guess. So let's see this. The blank rune, the speed runes, all those runes to increase. The Hellfire Forge I can make. I'm not sure what it does. 
Um, try uses. Hellfire Forge, Red, any stone, stuff I can't get to, makes stuff I can't get to. So it'd be nice if this would show me things I could do only. So I do need this for arcane magic eventually, it looks like. It's filled with recipes I can't do. Tons of recipes I can't do. But yeah, I can't even do the basic water buckets. But uh, divination single, ash, blank slate, peer into the soul. Not sure what these do. Green Grove? Doesn't tell me what it does either. Holding. I'm guessing that's like a backpack type thing. So these do things. I'm sure. But I can't tell what they do. Like I said, it's not part of the progression, so they don't even give you that sort of hint of what they do. And that was about the only thing that helped you a lot. Unless they don't expect you to do this in Age 1, but it seems like you can, as long as you feed it rotten flesh. So it's kind of funny that it's basically no-go so far in terms of telling you what to do. But yeah, guys, this is going to be the end of this episode. We did get this little done. I'm happy about that. Um, you know, I've embraced the dark magic of blood magic. So, you know, that's cool. But yeah, this is Just a Guy, signing off. Bye.